Are you thinking of moving to Antelope, California? Hey, this is Rose Gonzalez with the Gonzalez Real Estate Team, and in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the pros and cons of living in Antelope, California. Antelope is a suburb 15 miles northeast of downtown Sacramento and five miles southwest of Roseville. Let's start with the history of Antelope. In 1880, the city's population was only 400 people, consisting mostly of railroad workers who eventually made the town their home. The workers would leave the area and Antelope would become a small town with little businesses. On April 28, 1973, this small town, which consisted of a post office, a general store, and several homes was rocked when a rail car carrying aircraft bombs exploded in the southern region of the Southern Pacific's Roseville Yard. The explosion rocked the town to its core, destroying most of the homes and the general store too. Today, Antelope has a population of 49,325 people. Let's talk about the schools in Antelope. For the 2022-2023 school year, there are 11 public schools serving 7,980 students in Antelope, California. 99% of all K-12 students in Antelope are educated in public schools compared to the California state average of 90%. Antelope has one of the highest concentrations of top-ranked schools in California. Now let's talk about safety. Antelope has an overall crime rate of 14 per 1,000 residents, a crime rate that is comparably lower than the national average crime rate. The chances of becoming a victim of crime in Antelope is 1 in 71. Antelope is still a very affordable suburb in the Sacramento area. The median home prices are $478,000. So you're probably wondering, what is there to do in Antelope? Well, there's Antelope Community Park. There is a play area for the kids, barbecue and picnic areas, baseball fields, tennis courts, a garden and nature area, and aquatic complex with three pools and a slide. Just outside of Antelope is Gibson Ranch. There's a dog park, a little pond with tons of walking trails. And as you're driving, you'll see horses and right by the pond, there's a donkey. When I went to go check this place out, the donkey made sure he made it known that he was there. <coughs> there are stores in Antelope like Bellar Grocery, Kohl's, Walmart, The Home Depot, and there's also a Dutch Bros. Antelope is on the border of Roseville, so you can easily get to Sun Splash Golf Land. There's a Westfield Galleria. Top Golf are the one of the many things that are fun to do in the Roseville area. A few restaurants to check out in Antelope is A Taste of Tuscany, and right across the street is Jim Boy's Tacos, where they have the best crunchy tacos. Now, you're probably wondering, what are the cons about living in Antelope? Well, number one, there's no direct access to the freeway. To get to Antelope, you have to go through Roseville. From the 80 freeway, you would take Antelope Road and drive out about three and a half miles to the freeway. Number two, there's no police department in Antelope. You would have to dispatch to Citrus Heights PD. Number three, there are a few newer communities in the Roseville area that belong to the Antelope School District. While this might not be such a con, it might overpopulate the Antelope School Districts until these new communities are able to build their own school. All right, you guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about Antelope or the surrounding areas, please don't hesitate to call, text, or email us and we would be happy to answer any questions that you have. And if you're new to our channel, make sure to give a little love to that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.